like it was times that we could have sparred and jump, but I always look at it like I can learn from him. Other than you know being in there, actually fighting. What's up, fight fans? Buckle up because today's news is straight up wild. Gervonta Tank Davis has finally spoken out after getting knocked out in sparring by none other than the undefeated legend himself, Floyd Money Mayweather. Yeah, you heard that right. The man who taught Tank everything just put him to sleep in the gym. Now Tank is breaking his silence, and trust me, his words are gonna shock you. Let's get into the details of this crazy situation and how this bombshell is sending shockwaves through the boxing world. All right, so for those of you who've been living under a rock, here's a quick recap. Gervonta Tank Davis, one of the baddest knockout artists in the game, has been training for his upcoming fight against Lamont Roach. Tank's been on a roll, just knocking dudes out left and right. But when he stepped into the gym with his old mentor Floyd Mayweather for a friendly sparring session, things took a crazy turn. Floyd, who hasn't fought professionally in years, decided to lace up his gloves again to help Tank prep for this big fight. And guess what? In a shocking twist, Floyd dropped Tank. Yeah, like completely knocked him out cold during sparring. Can you believe it? This isn't some random rumor either. Floyd himself allegedly leaked the footage, and now the whole world knows Tank got put to sleep by a retired fighter. So, after days of radio silence, the undefeated Tank Davis has finally spoken up. What did he say? Well, let's dive into that. Hey, what happened? Why are you in the wheelchair? Shit happened all the time. Shit be happening. Hey, 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 I'm not right. Wait, no, hey, no, 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 no. We got that fight coming up. Okay, so the moment everyone's been waiting for, Tank's response. After the footage leaked, fans and haters alike have been talking mad trash online. People say Tank's confidence must be shattered, that Floyd's trying to ruin him, and that maybe Tank isn't as invincible as he seems. But here's the kicker. Tank's first words were not what anyone expected. After staying quiet for a few days, Tank broke his silence with a simple, fiery message on his social media. Tank said, you knocked me down, but don't forget who taught me how to get back up. We ain't done yet, champ. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. Tank didn't back down, didn't make excuses, and didn't even seem that phased. Instead, he threw some serious shade back at Floyd, reminding him that he was the one who learned from the best. Talk about flipping the script, right? But wait, Tank didn't stop with just one response. Obviously, the man had to give some explanation for getting knocked out. It's not every day you see a man like Tank on the canvas. Davis elaborated, y'all trippin' if you think that sparring session means anything. Let me tell you how it really went down. I had been sparring all day, putting in that work, while Floyd just walked into the gym fresh as hell. Not only that, but we weren't even the same weight that day. Floyd's got a solid 20 pounds on me. Yeah, he caught me. But it ain't nothing like what's about to go down in a real fight. Don't get it twisted, I'm still that guy. He's not letting this knockdown break his mentality. But the real question is, is this just bravado, or is Tank really unfazed by this knockout? Let's talk about what this sparring session really means for his career and upcoming fight. So, first off, let's be real. Getting knocked out in sparring is bad, but it's not unheard of. Even the greatest fighters have been dropped in the gym. Sparring is where you take risks, you push limits, and sometimes you get caught. But for Tank, this situation hits differently because of WHO knocked him out. It wasn't just some random sparring partner, it was the guy who used to be in his corner, guiding his career. The fact that Floyd leaked this footage is what's making everyone lose their minds. Why would Floyd want the world to see his protege getting dropped? Is he trying to mess with Tank's head? Is it all part of some twisted mental game? Or is Floyd just salty about their rocky relationship?
Now we know the blood between Floyd and Tank could not run any colder. They used to be super close, with Floyd basically hand-picking Tank as the next big star under Mayweather promotions. But after Tank left Floyd's promotion to go independent, things got real icy between them. Floyd's been out here taking shots at Tank on social media, and Tank hasn't exactly been quiet about his feelings either. It's been a lot of back and forth beef. Now, oh, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. What does all of this mean for Tank's upcoming fight with Lamont Roach? Let's be real. This fight was already hyped, but now this is next level drama. Roach, who's been putting in the work and is hungry to prove himself, just got a huge confidence boost. I mean, think about it. How would you feel if the dude you're about to fight just got knocked out by a retired boxer? Roach is no joke either. This dude has skills, and he's been on the grind waiting for his moment. Now, with this footage of Tank getting KO'd circulating everywhere, Roach is probably thinking this is his chance to shock the world. But here's the flip side. Tank is still Tank. He's still one of the most dangerous fighters on the planet, and you better believe he's gonna use this moment to fuel his fire. Tank's knockout power is insane. And now, with the whole world doubting him, he's got something to prove. And it's already getting heated between Tank and Roach. But hey, don't forget, this isn't the first time these two are fighting each other. Both these guys have sparred with each other before. And according to Kenny Ellis, Tank had the upper hand. Lamont and Tank have history. What, do yeah. you, what can you tell us about their history and how, how that's gonna play into the fight, come fight night? Um, they got average history for maybe two or three times. Tank being a the winner, they sparred a few times. Tank got the best of the spawn. Um, they're just bigger and stronger now, you know? Older. Now, but, it's some word out there that Lamont say, you know, he got some he got some film that, that don't make Tank look too good. What 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 could that how could that affect, you know, the the, the outcome on December 14th? Shit, man. Tank last four or five opponents all have film like, about how they beat him up in spawn. If that's the case, that should happen. But fight night, we all know the outcome. We got to talk about Floyd's role in all of this. Some people are out here saying Floyd did tank dirty by leaking the footage. Others think it's just Floyd being Floyd, playing mind games, stirring the pot, and keeping his name in the headlines. Whatever the reason, Floyd's actions have people questioning whether he truly has Tank's best interests at heart. According to sources, it was revealed that Floyd wasn't too happy when he heard Tank was out here securing way bigger deals than Floyd himself ever did. Sent you off and she was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. He said- So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like- he, that he was going at me. 
Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all y'all got, I don't say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just it, Floyd don't never he felt as though I'm about to I'm about to I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of this. Deal, he he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.